I find Rahir van der Vader's Descent from the Cross a captivating example of the use of realism in oil painting, which flourished in the Low Countries in the 15th century. Through skillful use of oils and pigments, the painter makes flesh and textured fabrics appear as if intricately transcribed from real life. The tears of Christ's mourners glisten. This realism makes their anguish at Christ's death palpable and would have made the painting an effective way to incite the same feelings in its viewers. This mirroring of feelings and behaviours is further portrayed by the way Mary collapses into the same pose as her son, emphasising the power of her own suffering through compassion. But there's a weird combination of realism with the impossible here. The bodies of Christ and Mary defy gravity. Supporting hands don't pull and distort them as they would in real life. And where exactly is this taking place? On a grassy hill outside Jerusalem? Or in a shallow golden framed box? Or is that a stage? The space is impossible. It's much shallower in its upper corners behind the painted tracery than at the lower edges where the figures stand four deep. And when is this taking place? Why are the figures dressed in 15th century clothing, which was totally anachronistic for the events? And why are they white Europeans? This interweaving of realism and the unreal entices viewers to think about things that exist only on a conceptual level, such as the theology of Mary's relationship to her son, or the status of the patrons who paid for this work, signalled by their tiny crossbows in the tracery. I'm fascinated by what 15th century viewers might have understood by this painting, by, but also by the questions its combined realism and unrealism raise for us today about the way art works to shape our thoughts and feelings.